Hey guys, welcome back to the Don't Starve Mods Spotlight. Today I'm taking a look at a new character mod from Mr. Hastings and also Kuloslav. They've both worked on this mod together. And the character is... It's Golem from uh, from Lord of the Rings, from J.R.R. Tolkien's universe of things. So there he is, there is Golem, holding the ring and also a fish. And he looks so good, that art is fantastic. Um, Unfortunately, I can't do a very good Golem impression, so I'm not even going to try it. Um, it is pretty awful. Um, <laughs> so, he looks like he starts with his beloved ring, uh, which is which is very useful for him. He he likes raw meat, especially the fishes, and uh, he's very fast, but quite weak. Uh, you can see, you know, he's, uh, you know, he's kind of deteriorated physically from being underground for so long. Alright, this Golem is actually set in a time before he met um, either Bilbo or Frodo. So, when he talks, there's no references to hobbits, but he will talk about other creatures from the Tolkien world. So this looks like a very well-made well character, and uh, I'm pretty excited to show him off, so let's have a look at Gollum. Alright, there he is, and he does come with a custom Maxwell intro. You don't look so... what? What do you have there? What a nice and shiny ring. I want to have it. It doesn't matter, I'll take it from what's left of you. So it looks like Maxwell does indeed want Gollum's ring. There is the mystery ring. Can we inspect it? My precious. And also some fish. Let's inspect those. So juicy sweet. So yeah, you can see he will gain 12.5 hunger and 1 health from just eating raw fish. He, uh, he does love raw fish. Although the mod page lists a different stat, so it might be, uh, might be something done with Gollum. Um, the mod page says that these will give him 37.5 hunger, uh, 21 health, and 20 sanity. Whoa. Oh, look at how fast he is. There he goes. Wow. So he starts with 140 hunger, 140 health, and 160 sanity. He's got plus 30% speed, um, but his damage is 25% weaker than usual. As well as that, his hunger does go down 20% slower than usual. And it looks like the Santee Drain at night is 50% less than usual. Because he's already kind of insane, I think. What do you have to say about this bird? We should catch him. Hmm. Yes. Spies everywhere. So, uh, because Gollum is so dependent on the ring, he actually cannot drop it. Uh, or, or even put it in a backpack, or like a chest or chester. Uh, he has to keep the ring with him all the time. The only time he will lose it is if he dies. And then... Uh, when he's resurrected, uh, if he's resurrected, then he'll have a san sanity penalty until he can next find the ring again. So yeah, it looks like the, 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 the penalties and buffs he gets from eating stuff is just kind of golem side instead of being listed on here. So if he eats raw meat, he should get those, uh, the hunger and health bonuses, but also plus 5 to 10 sanity. And the monster meat, he shouldn't take any of those penalties and he should... Um, yeah, he shouldn't take the, 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 the sanity penalty. Okay, good. So if you do have uh, display food values, don't pay too much attention to them. They should work. Uh, we can try eating this. So we're at 140 and 160. Let's eat that. There we go. That just that actually improved it improved everything. So, great. Golem does, of course, have a nice mini map icon right there. And a backpack. Great. Uh, but yeah, he does have his icon. What's he got to say about rabbits? Eat them, eat them. Okay, here's what I was looking for, a pond. So, Golem's special ability is he can actually go fishing without a fishing rod. There we go, he just got a fish. Um, but he can only do that once every three days, I believe, yes. So, Golem also can't eat um, any any fruits or vegetables or anything like that. Uh, well, he can eat them, but he will take a big sanity penalty. He'll lose 20 sanity if he has any fruits or vegetables. So, uh, be careful with those. Okay, so it's it's uh, dusk now, so he should lose this pretty slowly. Yeah, it's 50% slower. So, Golem's ring, I'm sure you've been wondering uh, what the ring does. Uh, basically, if he equips it before aggroing a monster, he can actually become invisible to that monster. So I think I saw a spider web up here somewhere. No, maybe not. It's down there. Okay, so we're gonna wander back down here. And we're gonna try, we're gonna try on the ring. Should we put it on now? There we go. So does he lose sanity? He does lose sanity quite quickly. Uh, but you can see here, we're right next to the spider. He's not doing anything to us. So let's take that off. And now if we were to go near him... Oh, there he goes, yeah. 
And now if we were to equip it, the spider still knows where we are. So you do have to equip it before uh, aggroing the spider. Go away. Do you have to say about that? Stinky poop. So yeah, when he does have the, the ring equipped, and we were in that, that strange state... Oh wow, it's quite bright during the day. Um, shadow creatures will actually start to appear, because it, it kind of treats it like he is already insane. And apparently after he's used the ring, uh, he's got a bit of a cooldown where he can't... He can't actually, like, attack creatures for, for a little bit. And that, that's just kind of like a balance for the game to prevent uh, multiple surprise attacks, apparently. And if you if you do die and you lose the ring, um, then it will actually be marked on the minimap, which is quite useful. I might see if I can find a touchstone so we can have a look at that. Here we go, there's one just here. So if we activate that, and then we'll, we'll wander away somewhere and die. Oh, we could just die to this thing. Oh, look at that, honey poultice. Hmm, lovely. Oh, oh no, why you do this? Man, that thing is pretty tough, actually. Yeah, it still has like four hits. Blech. There's the ring. And we should res just over here. A little bit insane. Not really a problem. Ah, look at the little beardling. And if we have a look at the map, there is the ring. Fantastic. And he loses huge sanity right now. Things like two per second or something. And if we pick up the ring... Oh, he automatically puts it on, so we don't want that on. But we're not losing our sanity anymore, which is good. Oh no, our fish. So yeah, we, we'll just show that off. You can't put it in there. Good god. I don't think we can hide from him. Run away! Oh, he's coming after us. So there's a couple of to-do things that Mr. Hastings and Kuloslav are going to work on. Um... The, the, the big thing is adding more original things when he is wearing the ring. So when he wears the ring, uh, in future, plants and objects will turn into kind of nightmare versions of themselves. Uh, which will just make it, you know, even cooler to be wearing the ring. And the other to-do thing is to fix a crash uh, that happened when people who were playing Not As Golem tried to put the ring in a backpack or a chest. So just be careful if you do have the mod installed and you play as someone else and spawn in the ring. Um, don't do it, because it might crash your game. <laughs> so there you go, that was the fantastic Golem mod by Mr. Hastings and Kuloslav. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Thank you guys for watching I'm Starve. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these mods. If you want to, you can click subscribe, and if you'd like, I guess you can hit like too. This has been a Jarda production. There's lots of other bits on the channel. If you click subscribe, I'll love you, and really, isn't that what everyone wants? I mean, you, you just want us to love you, right? And we, we want you to love us which would be fantastic. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't liked this video, so he doesn't like Don't Starve, right? Thank you for watching.